All right, welcome. This is stress, sleep, and emotions. I know sometime in the year 2021, 2020 to 2021, we've all experienced some issues with one of these or all three of these, okay? Um, I will admit it took me a long time to, uh, to feel any of these. I actually liked the quarantine and liked the beginning of it, but come the end of 2020, we had some major issues at home um, with COVID and stress and anxiety and sleep, and it all just kind of boiled over, okay? So I completely understand. Um, I completely understand uh, all of these issues, and um, I, I wanna offer you guys some, um, some natural options to deal with them. Um, all of you guys are already doTERRA members, so that means that you can order anytime you want um, and get 25% off of the, um, the retail price. And you can even, even get some of the stuff for free by ordering a certain way. So there's some really, um, so there's some really good perks to being a member. You guys are all members already. But if you don't know how to use these things, you don't know um, how much there is to take advantage of. And I just wanna make sure that you know what you can do with your oils, what other options there are as far as, um, as far as supplements and other natural things that you can do to help with your sleep, stress, and emotions. Um, and so that's what we're gonna be talking about tonight, okay? Um, when you're talking about sleep, stress and emotions. I keep getting those backwards because we're actually going to talk about sleep first. Um, it's a trifecta of symptoms. And so your body is meant to be in perfect balance. You know that certain, sim certain systems in your body affect other systems. And if one of them is out of whack, then everything is just a little bit off balance. Okay. That perfect balance that we're looking for um, is called homeostasis. All right. So anytime I say homeostasis, that just means that perfect balance of your body, bringing everything back into balance. All right. Um, so we're going to start with a little self-assessment. You guys, this is completely uh, personal, so you can share or not share. It's totally fine. But on a scale of one to 10, let's just talk about some of these, um, some of these questions. Zero means not at all. 10 means this is a major problem. Um, so how often are you aware of being stressed in your daily life? This is a big one for me. I'm, I'm easily an eight, okay? Several times a day is, is when I feel stressed. Um, you may have a low stress atmosphere at home. I hope you do, but if you're in this class, maybe maybe not so much. Uh, how concerned are you about the quantity and quality of your sleep? Maybe you're just now looking into this as an issue. Maybe you've seen some success over the last few years and you just want it to get better. Um, Personally, I've, I've been an insomniac since I was 16 years old, and this is the best I've ever slept in my entire life because we've got some things under control. Uh, how frequently do your emotions feel difficult to manage appropriately? <laughs> All right, I think a lot of us could say, okay, there, we're getting better, um, but let's keep improving. All right. Now, I don't want you to feel like you have to do all of these things at once. We're going to talk about a lot of options. Um, whichever one you have the highest score on, okay, whichever one is the biggest problem for you, that's the one I would start with, okay? So if sleep is a major issue, sleep is going to add to your daily stress. Sleep is going to add to your uncontrollable emotions. So start with sleep, right? Um, if stress is causing you to not sleep, maybe start with stress. You guys know what the biggest area is but don't feel like you have to do it all at once. If you improve in one of these areas, again, you're gonna bring a little bit more of the rest of them into balance. Okay. We're gonna get a little sciencey just for a minute. Um, when your body gets signals either from outside, okay, from your environment, or from things that you eat, or things that you sleep, or things that you smell, okay? It's all controlled by what's called the hypothalamus. This is a gland that's right behind your nasal cavity at the front of your brain. Um, we call this the tiny control tower of your brain. When you have any feelings, okay, your hypothalamus sends signals to the rest of your body, and all of those glands, all of your body that create hormones, 
that's how they know what to create. Okay, so anytime you have any kind of um, interaction with a person, interaction with a feeling, interaction with a food or a smell, it sends signals to the hypothalamus and the hypothalamus says, um, get that out of there, says, this area of your body needs to create create this kind of hormone and this area needs to create this kind of hormone. That's wonderful. It's actually a really amazing system, okay? But when you're stressed out, it orders the brain to send out the stress hormones, okay? These are the cortisol, the adrenaline. Um, these are designed to protect you, okay? Those are actually really good hormones. They're a little bit, they get a bad rap, right? But the whole point of having those stress hormones is so that when you're in danger, you get a surge of these hormones and you're able to get away from the danger and you're able to have the energy and the strength to do it, okay? But the problem is we have frequent, frequent or prolonged states of stress and so our bodies are continually creating those stress hormones and it can actually have a pretty bad devastating effect on the physical health and your mental well-being it, it creates this dangerous imbalance where you're unable to create hormones that you need such as melatonin for sleep you can't create it because your cortisol is so out of balance okay so if we can get these things back into balance all three of these areas stress sleep emotions are going to be affected all right so now let's talk about some symptoms of chronic stress Okay, I'm, I've, got, I've got five out of six here, okay? We've had a lot of changes over the last year. Um, irritability, anxiety or depression, headaches, insomnia, poor immune function, and increased blood pressure, okay? All of these are symptoms of chronic stress. Maybe um, the the environment you're living in or the stimulus that you're you have during the your every day um, is creating an imbalance in your in your uh, in your body in your stress hormones okay this is not a permanent problem you guys this is just because you have some of these symptoms doesn't mean that you are doomed to be stressed out for the rest of your life this is a signal to make some changes okay um, I, here's a really interesting statistic down at the bottom here. Whoops. Oh, I got ahead of myself. Okay. How do I hide this little thing? Hide. There it is. Okay. Got it. 70% of our problems sleeping are related to physiological or psychological issues. Only 15% are environmental, okay? So environmental would be a, a screaming baby, okay? And only 15% are medical. That includes taking medication that causes you to uh, lose sleep or something that needs medical attention. So 70% of the reasons that we cannot sleep we can handle because it has to do with our health practices and our habits or just where our head is. Okay. And we can completely make a change in that. Um, increased cortisol levels means that melatonin levels will not be able to rise as they should to promote restful sleep. Your body cannot make everything all the time. It has to um, take turns making those hormones. All right. So we got to be able to calm down the cortisol. Okay. This is a this is an example of two different nightly regimens that you could use to help with sleep, calming, um, and just resting and at the end of the day. Okay, the first one we're going to talk about is Serenity Soft Gels. This is not actually the the oil. So we do have an oil called Serenity, and a lot of times our um, this is the capsule here. A lot of times our capsules will just be oil in the capsules. Okay. The way you know the difference is when it says complex, that means it's actually an herbal supplement. It's not just the oil in the supplement. Okay. When it says 
um, essential oil soft gels, like in this Copaiba, what that is, is it's actually the essential oil in a capsule. So if you have the essential oil already, you could make a capsule. But as we know, Serenity is not one that you use internally. So I don't want anybody to think that the capsules have Serenity um, oil in them. They don't. They are a, a blend of botanicals, herbs, um, that help calm the nervous system, promote healthy relaxation and sleep. Um, one great thing about Serenity Soft Gels is you can use them just as you might an over-the-counter sleep aid, but they're not going to cause you at all any kind of hangover, okay? It's not going to cause you to fall asleep if you're driving. You can actually use them if you're feeling anxious, and it can just kind of take the edge off. They're a really great thing. Um, the next one is Copaiba soft gel. So you can take one of each of these right before bed or maybe like an hour before bed when you have that like wind down time. Um, Copaiba is great for soothing anxious feelings and it promotes that homeostasis that we're looking for, calming down the cortisol so that your body can create its own melatonin. I know you can take melatonin supplements. That is completely up to you. I've never done it, but I have heard that some people um, have a reaction to it. Some people have a, an unpleasant response to it. So why not encourage our bodies to make its own, okay? Um, an option, a different option for your nightly regimen. This is an either or kind of thing, okay? So you also could do adaptive soft gels. Replace the serenity with adaptive. Adaptive is really good for encouraging relaxation. This is the one that we talk about um, dealing with anxious feelings, okay? Adaptive is wonderful for those people who um, feel anxious on the regular. So you can use it as part of your supplement routine, or you can just use it as night at night, especially if you tend to feel anxious at night. So maybe you're the kind of person who goes to bed and then remembers everything that you didn't do, <laughs> everything that you left undone maybe for the last five years. I don't know. Is that just me? But it's wonderful for helping kind of turn that off, take the edge off again. It promotes calming, positive feelings, and relaxation. And then again with the copaiba. So copaiba is a, an essential oil. It actually comes from the resin of a tree. And it, just like all of the resin oils, it's really good for feeling grounded and calm. Okay, copaiba is probably the best one. It also has a side benefit here of helping um, with uh, discomfort, pain. So if you are someone who's not sleeping because you're uncomfortable, um, this is one that you definitely want to add to your nightly routine. And then another one that you can add if you do adaptive copaiba is the yarrow palm capsules. This is just great for cellu cellular health. Yarrow palm is actually our um, skin health cellular beauty complex okay and so this is great because it supports the brain it supports the skin and it also um, supports uh, cellular health side benefit you're going to actually have beauty sleep all right if you've taken those and love them i want to hear about it okay okay here's an option of a few oils that are wonderful for calming relaxing and sleeping the first one is frankincense. It's another resin oil, okay? So think, as you use your oils, you're going to start understanding what different types of oils are good for. The resins, the trees, they're very good for grounding, okay? It's great for settling the mind. Um, it eases that feeling of um, you're, you, gotta, you have the jitters, you've got some more to do. It just kind of helps calm you down. It's great for hormone uh, balance also which is another side benefit. Uh, vetiver. Vetiver is nature's tranquilizer. If you take the quiz later, I'm going to ask you that question. Okay, so make a, make a note here. Vetiver is known as nature's tranquilizer. And I didn't believe it. I didn't understand it until I had an experience for myself. That's how oils work a lot for us. Um, but I told you guys that I am, have been an insomniac since I was a teenager. This is the vetiver right here. Okay, it's also very good for anxious feelings. It's also very good if you have like 
manic feelings. Okay. So that same hyperactivity that happens, um, frankincense, vetiver, both very good for that. Okay, so the way you use vetiver, and yes, we're going to make a hibernation roller, but I want you to know about vetiver specifically. Vetiver is as thick as honey, so if you have a, an eyedropper or something, you can buy those at oillife.com. Here it comes. <laughs> it is as thick as honey, and it smells woodsy and a little bit sweet, a little bit like molasses. It's it's definitely got a strange, a strange smell to it. The very first night I used this to help with sleep, I was so sensitive to the scent because I'd never smelled anything like this. It's very smoky that it actually came, it actually kept me up. Okay. But but my body was trained after several nights of using it to recognize it as um, an aid to relax, okay? So how you use it is you take a drop and you rub, <laughs> you rub a drop on each of your big toes, okay? The very tip of your toe right underneath the nail and then straight back, all right? That sounds crazy, I know. You really, if you're sensitive to scent like I am um, at night especially, you really don't want it super close to your to your body to your face and until you start recognizing it as a, a sleep help okay um, before that you want it in your feet on your feet inside your socks okay so you put it on the tip of your toe and that's because um, the part of your brain that kind of keeps things going and, and reminds you of what you forgot to do at the end of the day, that has a nerve ending right at the end of your toe. That part of your brain is connected right to that place. Um, and so when you put that vetiver there, it sends those signals to say, calm down. All right. So if you have 10, 2 a.m. chatter in the middle of the night, try vetiver. No kidding. Okay. Bergamot. Bergamot is one of those really special citrus oils um, that's great for agitation, great for feeling stressed out. It's also a natural sedative, which is strange because most of the citrus oils are energizing, but um, wild orange and bergamot both are calming. Okay. They can get you going if you add them to peppermint, but um, when you add them to these other ones, it's also going to help you just kind of de-stress. And then chamomile. Everybody knows chamomile is wonderful for calming down. Chamomile tea. Um, this is the same plant. It's the little flower, little white flower with the yellow center. Same thing. Um, Roman chamomile comes from that flower. It's calming, relaxing, um, soothes, and also helps clear the mind. So you notice these four are all kind of not just um, calming to the emotions, but also really helpful for just calming the mind. And I know women, especially, we have that tendency to overthink things. We have that tendency to worry. We have that tendency to um, make our list at the, in the middle of the night. Way, way around this could be um, using this hibernation roller, okay? So what the recommendation is here, and I would probably start with less than 20 drops um, to start with, but um, 20 drops of each of these, okay? Put it in a roller, a 10 mil roller. So if you're using a five mil, cut it in half. Um, add fractionated coconut oil on top of that. And then you're gonna put it on the feet, on your feet, on your big toes specifically, the palms of your hands and your pillow. Just rub it, rub it in with your hands, rub it together and rub it on your pillow, okay? You don't need to put it everywhere with the roller. It goes a long way. And you're gonna inhale deeply with slow, deep breaths. Um, after a while, using vetiver, using some of these things, you're going to notice that your body starts responding a lot faster because you're teaching your body to um, take a new pathway to sleep. All right, these are, these are really good, these four right here. I know on your... Um, handout. If you printed that out, there's a place for a wish list. If you don't have any of these four specifically, put them on your wish list. Okay. Now this is kind of a cool thing. This is a doTERRA mood matrix. All right. So look at these four areas. These are actually four very different states of mind. Okay. Um, when you're feeling agitated, anxious, you don't have any peace. Okay. 
fatigue, feeling overtired, can't function throughout the day, but you can't rest at night. That is absolutely the worst. That's what your mom used to call being overtired, right? That's fatigue. Um, stressed out, you're overworked, overstimulated. You just can't stop worrying about those things that didn't get done or you, the things you weren't to people. Um, and then the, another totally different uh, state of mind is just not feeling passionate. I just have the blahs, okay? I need to get my mojo back. Um, all of these are different forms of feeling stressed out and just having um, just an emotional imbalance that you just can't quite get through, okay? So this is a nice little matrix. So if you're feeling agitated, anxious, no peace, you're going to go for the serenity and balance. Um, serenity and balance are a combo that we jokingly refer to as liquid Xanax. Um, they're wonderful. If you just feel like you need to separate yourself for a few minutes, put your hand together, put a couple of uh, couple of drops of serenity, a couple of drops of balance, rub them together and make yourself a human diffuser, okay? You can use these in any way. You can put them in a roller, roll them on your wrist, so over your heart. You can put them in the diffuser. But personally, I love to just use serenity and balance right in my face with my hands, okay? If you're feeling fatigued, go with serenity and then citrus bliss. Remember when I told you that um, citrus oils can actually help invigorate and stim stimulate. Um, but then you also have the need to calm at the same time. So calm, focused energy. Think of it that way. Okay, so serenity and citrus bliss. It's a really nice combo. Um, it's a really nice combo just in general. It's wonderful. All right. Then if you're feeling dispassionate, try citrus bliss. And Citrus Bliss, side note, is my mom's favorite oil. She, I think she buys it every single month from doTERRA. Um, citrus Bliss and Elevation, those two together. Elevation, so Citrus Bliss is several, um, several citrus oils mixed together. I have it right here. It's wild orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, bergamot, tangerine, uh, clementine, which is really interesting because all of those citrus oils smell similar, but they all have different uh, uses our body takes in different signals that they send in the brain. And then it has a little bit of vanilla. So it tastes, uh, taste, doesn't taste. It smells a little bit like a, um, a dream sickle. It's wonderful. And then elevation is a, a wonderful oil. Um, if you if you just get into a funk every once in a while, I will tell you elevation is the one you need to have on hand. I, I use it when, um, when I get into those funks, I use it as, as perfume. Okay. I put a little, I put a little whisper elevation citrus bliss in a roller, put them together, roll them on uh, behind my ears, behind my neck, uh, on the back of my neck. Um, it's wonderful. And then again, if you're dealing with stress, if it's specifically stress, overwork, overstimulation, um, go with balance and elevation. Now, you can't mix these wrong, guys. <laughs> this is just an option. You do what, what feels best to you, what you see the response, um, what, you, what smells best to you. Okay. Um, another option that I love to put in a, a roller and use as perfume is five drops each of Citrus Bliss, ele Elevation, Balance, and Whisper, which is a great, it's called the Women's Blend. It's great for hormone balance. Okay, so just a second, we're gonna talk about the Adaptive Collection. The Adaptive Collection was designed specifically for people who deal with um, stressful feelings and anxious feelings. They, um, they developed this, uh, they, they did clinical testing. They had people take tests under um, uncomfortable situations. So they would change the temperature in the room and they would give them timed tests and they would you know, talk to them while they were doing it and they would take their blood pressure and, and take their heart rate and everything. And they noticed when they used this adaptive, their heart rate was more regular, um, their breathing was more regular and they, they filled out things later that said, I didn't feel as stressed out when I smelled that smell, or they didn't know the difference. They didn't know that they were being, um, uh, 
exposed to the adaptive, but they were able to, the people who had the adaptive in the room or on their bodies were able to complete the test and get more answers right. So it was a really cool, a really cool test that they did. But if you have smelled adaptive, you don't need to know about the clinical test because you know how good it is. Okay. So the adaptive collection, you can buy these individually or as a group. And as a group, typically um, with all doTERRA collections, you're going to get a little bit more of a discount if you buy them all together. But the roller is for rolling on topically. Okay. The capsules are for taking daily or as needed if you feel like you're coming up to a stressful situation. Um, Christmas, holidays, birthdays with the you know extended family, uh, take a couple uh, extra adaptives. And that is not the oil in the capsule, but it's just like the others. It is a, um, it's a blend of botanicals that help with uh, easing easing anxiety. Okay. And then the oil itself is absolutely wonderful. You can use it topically and you can also use it um, in the diffuser. If you have dental work that you need done, you can just hold it in your hand and smell it. And I promise you the ladies at the, uh, at the dentist will ask you what you're holding in your hand. Okay. <laughs> but they work and it's a way to use this complex um, topically internally and aromatically, all three of the ways that we use our oils, okay? And then here are some wonderful diffuser blend recipes. Um, the first one is just adaptive and wild orange. Great combination, absolutely great. And I would not worry about the number of drops in these. It's totally to your, to your taste, okay? Um, Next, forgive, balance, and breathe. Balance and wild orange. Peace, balance, and vetiver. I personally don't like to use vetiver in the uh, diffuser because it's so sticky. I have to clean my diffusers more often, but I know a lot of people do and they swear by it. And then citrus bliss, sandalwood, grapefruit, and elevation. Oh my goodness. Okay, now since you guys are all um, members of doTERRA, I, I think all of you understand how to use the LRP, the, the loyalty cart, but I just wanna give you a quick, um, just a quick run through of how this works. This is a sample of a really, a really great way to start. If you don't have these products, this is a great way to start getting, um, getting going on your stress, sleep and emotions and just kind of taking control of that. The first one being the adaptive collection, obviously. But the LRP stands for Loyalty Rewards Program, okay? It's a monthly, um, it's a monthly auto ship system where you go in, you decide exactly what you want in that cart, and you can change it every single month. So you don't have to buy the same thing month to month, okay? There's no minimum, which means one month you could get all of these things, and then the next month you can change it to just be one thing, okay? The minimum is one item, but there's no uh, dollar minimum, okay? Um, you get to customize what you get and you get to customize when it ships, which is really great. You can, you can um, uh, adapt it to your payment schedule, right? Um, let's see. Even though there's no minimum, there are some benefits to ordering certain size amounts. So if one month you order 50 PV, which is product value, everything has a PV uh, amount, okay? Uh, with oils, it's usually about a dollar per point. But um, if you order 50 PV one month, you're gonna get a percentage back. So, the first time you order that, you're gonna get 10%. And the longer you are uh, doing an, a loyalty, court, loyalty cart, um, the more you're going to get back until you max out at 30%, okay? So which means anytime you order 100 PV, you're gonna get $30 in store credit just waiting for you to spend on whatever you want. And when we talk about getting free stuff with doTERRA, that's how we do it. We order 50 PV or more, and we start earning that um, percentage back. Um, if you order 100 PV or more and you are um, 
a wellness advocate that makes you eligible for commission. Okay, that's something to think about. Um, if you order 125 PV in a month and it's before the 15th, so remember when you can decide when it's going to ship, always ship before the 15th, okay? If it's before the 15th and it's 125 PV or more, you're going to get a free oil every single month. All right, so if you did that 12 months in a row, you would get 12 oils that year completely free. In addition to the free stuff that you're going to get because you're gonna start getting percentage back as well, okay? So if you have any questions about how to use the LRP um, system, let me know. Um, it's a little bit complex. It's a little bit hard to understand at first. It takes a little bit of um, using it to, to get going. But I will say, if, um, if you've never done it before, go try it. I, I would say give it three months. You always get your shipping back also in store credit. So it's kind of like getting free shipping. Um, try it for three months. Use all your points, you know, uh, to get something free. And if you don't like it, you can cancel it anytime. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. I think we're, I think we're good. Let me stop sharing here for a second. Uh-oh, how do I get this share? <laughs> I hid that thing and now I can't escape. There it is. Stop share. Okay, y'all with me? Let's see what we've got in the chat. My eyes watering. I diffuse when I go to sleep and it helps a lot, absolutely. Yeah, Krista says, I shut down when I'm super stressed. I feel I do the same thing. Let me... um, Jeannie says, how long does it take to um, for these to work? Everybody's different, Jeannie. It's, I mean, it's just like everybody's different. Everybody reacts to food different. Everybody responds to medication different. Everybody responds to um, oils and supplements differently. But I would be surprised if you didn't see a difference in a couple of weeks. If you are, if you're kind of changing your habits, right? So if you're, if you're doing the same thing, if you're watching TV right before bed and you're getting overstimulated and you're starting to take, um, and then you start taking serenity capsules and you haven't changed any of the other things, but you're just adding that, it's not a medication. So like a medication, you will override your system and you won't be able to not fall asleep. But this is a way to help train your body to fall asleep naturally. Um, so it does take some time and it does take some other habits changing. But, um, but I would be surprised. I would be surprised if it took longer than two weeks. And, and, uh, just to see, just to see a difference, like not a complete, you know, not a complete, I never, I never have sleep problems again, because once your stress levels rise again, you, you do have to find a way to, um, to, to kind of get back into that balance again. Sorry, my eye is watering really bad. Okay, Krista, Krista has some advice vetiver cedarwood and lavender in the diffuser at night really good do you find it sticky do you find the vetiver sticky it does tend to clump up a little bit more than my other uh diffusers that i have in the house but it, if it happens to do that i just throw some vinegar in it before i go to work and leave it in the bathroom and that way the whole room my bedroom isn't smelling like vinegar when I get back it's in the bathrooms and that's appropriate place for it to smell like vinegar so go. it doesn't bother me that it gets a little sticky okay that works that works fine um yeah I like you know a lot of people are uh feel like they don't they don't like lavender um and this is something that I didn't know until I started working in doTERRA but they they smell lavender and they think you know medicine or they think the the baby version of the you know the fake lavender that comes in the johnson and johnson products or whatever and they just don't they just feel averse to it um balance vetiver cedarwood all of those are so good for people who don't love lavender and i actually think that doTERRA's lavender smells better than 
any that I've ever smelled. I actually didn't love lavender either until I smelled it. And I was like, oh, it smells like a flower, like it's supposed to. So it's, it's really good. Serenity, I think, is, is absolutely wonderful. All right, do we have any other questions, anybody? I'm gonna find... Uh, okay, something's going on here. <laughs> Exit full screen, okay, there we go. I'm looking for your link here, guys. Next week is Women's Health and Hormones. Some of you have already taken this class. I, I this is this is a, a good one, really helpful. Um, that's going to be February third, same time as always, eight o'clock here with me. And then you can get your punch card stamped by filling out that little quiz right there. There's the two links. And if you're watching this um, on recording, it should be in your email or uh, in the description of the YouTube. I'm gonna wait about one more minute to see if you guys think of any questions, but hey, we're, we're done a little bit early. You guys can uh, go take your, go take your uh, supplements and <laughs> put your oils in the diffuser and make it an early night. <laughs> your family's gonna be so pleased, so pleased at how de-stressed everybody is. All right, guys, I will see you guys next week. Be sure to sign up for the next class so that the registration's already done and I will see you, um, I'll see you there. Some of you, this is your last class. You're gonna get that diffuser right away. I'll see you next week, bye.